Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I just want to reassure you that if you've reconciled an account and you realize you, you put a transaction into the wrong category, that you can change your category and it's not going to mess up your bank reconciliation. Let me just demonstrate that for you real quick. I'm going to go to my chart of accounts and I'll just go to my checking account and I'll click on view register. You can see that it's reconciled through May 15th, 2024. If I click on reconcile, everything is good. There is no red box. If you've ever seen the red box, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go to the bank register and I'm going to say, oh, that deposit that says uncategorized income, that's not right. It wasn't uncategorized income. So I can click on edit and I can change the account. It's called an account here, but if you look at the expense, it's called a category. It's interchangeable words because someone's a comedian. You can think of them as one and the same. So what does make believe that instead of uncategorized income, this should have gone to the account called services. I'm going to do a save and close and it, it brings up this message. This has been reconciled and saving your stuff could put you out of balance. And I'm like, okay, admittedly not a programmer, but I would think that a programmer could program something that said, did the number in the upper right hand corner change? And if no, don't bring out the scary message. So we click on, yep, no problem. I still want to save my work. Let me go back to reconcile. Nothing bad happened. My beginning balance didn't change. I don't have a giant error message. Nothing has gone wrong. Let me go to the bank register and I'll demonstrate. Um, I was going to say demonstrate it with an expense, but I don't have an expense. So let me just put an expense in real quick so that I can demo this. So it's movie magic. And by that, I mean, it's Carlos magic. But now we can make believe, oh, there's this expense for $900 and that's not right. It didn't go to bank charges. I don't know what I was thinking, but that's not right. So you can click on edit and you can say this, by the way, is where it says category where a second ago is that account. Like, no, 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 that wasn't bank charges. That was rent. I was like, is rent in my demo file? <laughs> and then I'll say save and close and it gives us the message. And I'm like, yeah, no problem. And I look at the reconcile and I'm like, their beginning balance is correct. There's no error message. Everything is fine. I'm going to demonstrate two more things. If this $900 was for some money for rent and some money for utilities, it's no problem. The key here is that the number in the upper right hand corner doesn't change when you get done. It was $900 before I started changing things and it's $900 after I'm done. So we look at reconcile. This is just for me to give you peace of mind. In real life, I don't check it all the time. I know that it works. So those are the things you can do. No problem, does not mess anything up. Let me show you what does mess stuff up. Let's go back to this deposit and let's click on edit. And we'll say, well, yeah, I know it was $450, but like, eh, only $300 counts. I don't really want to record the whole thing. So then you say save and close and you get the exact same error message. The, at this point, you've gotten really used to ignoring and you're like, yeah, no problem. Moving forward, click on reconcile. And now you can see the error. You can see your beginning balance is on right. You've got a caution symbol, beginning balance is off and it says we can help you fix it. Not true, but it does tell you what went wrong. I'll make a different video where I fix that, but I just wanted to give you peace of mind. If you're working on something and you're looking at your bank register and you're like, oh, that went to the wrong account. If you want to change the account, totally fine. But please don't change the dollar amount. All right. Any questions, just leave them down below. If my team or I can help you, please don't hesitate to reach out. If you're looking to make YouTube videos and you also need a person who does movie magic, Carlos's contact information is on the about page of gentlefrog.com. So gentlefrog.com forward slash about, scroll down, go to Carlos and be like, I too make mistakes when recording. Can you help me? All right. 
Thank you.